guys, it's James here from J-Ray Games, and I'm back with another episode of Reality Insights. And today we are using the Google Daydream to play a game called Dash Dash Run. And I'm going to show you a feature of the software called Pitch Reach, uh, and it's really, really cool. So I'm going to just jump right into it. Let's go. All right, guys, well, I'm all ready to go here, and you can see that I've got the profile set up for Dash Dash Run here. And uh, you'll see that the up of the touchpad is set to Pitch Reach. And the main uh, button is set to reverse pitch. Um, I made one little change on this profile. I set the bottom uh, button to trigger because I needed to select some menus uh, within the game. But I want to show you how pitch reach works. It's very clever. So if I look down at my controllers, uh, when I'm using one controller, you'll see that both are locked in the kind of the same spot. And this is the problem with the three degrees of freedom, uh, freedom sort of controllers that we're using. But what pitch reach will allow you to do is if I press that button, and I move my controller up or down, it will create some separation between the two controllers. And if I press the reverse pitch, the opposite happens. Now what this will allow me to do is it'll allow me to interact with objects within the world. It's like press things like buttons and all that sort of thing. So let's check out in the game how this looks. All right, well you can see that I'm inside dash dash run and I've got my hands down here below responding nicely but I've got these buttons in front of me and I cannot interact with them without being able to actually reach out and press them and this is going to happen in a lot of games you won't be able to interact unless you can get your hands to move closer and this is where the pitch reach feature works amazing it takes a little bit of getting used to but what you do is basically put your hands lined up with the object you want to interact with press the button move the controller down or up depending on which direction you want to go and you will be able to interact as you can see with the button that we want to move now this is really important in this game because you need to run and basically all i got to do is press the middle button and i'll be able to run by swinging my arms here we go and controlling or moving my controller in the direction that i want to run Hopefully this is showing up okay. But it's a really cool sort of experience. But at the same time, this would not be possible without the pitch reach feature. If you look at my hands, they are swinging side to side because I am moving my controller up and down. Oh, I just got passed. And it is detecting my arm movements to make me run. Now, normally this would be achieved by using two controllers and swing them side to side in order to run. Now I probably look like an absolute idiot, <laughs> but you can see how this works. It works really well because it is swinging both arms at the same time just by uh, using that pitch reach feature. Actually right now I'm using the reverse uh, reach feature, but you can see how that works great. And I can control where I'm going just by looking or by using the controller in the direction that I want. Now I'm I'm getting destroyed here. I'm not doing very well. But here's the end coming up right here. And we did it. All right. Now, like I said, that would not be possible without the pitch uh, feature, uh, the reach feature. That would not be possible because you could not separate your arms because they're locked in the same spot. Let's try this again. I'll just show you hopefully how this works get ready for the race to start hold the middle button and let's go this time i'm going to swing my arm a little faster <laughs> i'm going to try to go quicker through this uh this maze you can see how hopefully my time will be a lot better this time and i know i look like an idiot i know that i'm like swinging my arms like crazy i'm still not very good with it but you can see that i'm keeping up all right maybe not completely to that guy he's pretty fast so he must just be swinging his arms like crazy. But if I was standing, um, because I'm wireless, if I was standing and I was swinging my arm like crazy, obviously I'd be able to go much faster. But because I'm sitting here uh, and doing this, it's not as not as easy. Um, and there we go. I think my time was way, way better than last time. So you can see that it works. It works really well. I'm able to interact with elements in the game and it's working really great. Now, in games where you're going to have to reach out, you're going to have to interact with things, you're going to have to pick things up, this is the solution to it, because otherwise, with a single controller, you couldn't do it. 
So that is pitch reach and reverse reach. It works fantastic, as you can see, in a game like this, it's pretty much the only way you're going to be able to play the game. All right, guys, well, that was Dash Dash Run, and hopefully you enjoyed the pitch reach feature that the software has. That'll be useful for a lot of games. Uh, if you enjoy this content, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Uh, I'll always get back to you. Um, and if you want to support the channel, check out our Patreon up there. Uh, that would be great as well. Anyways, till next time, I hope to see you guys in VR.